Hey, this is Christina Grimmie, and you're on Rock Forever Magazine. Hey guys, it's Tori from Rock Forever Magazine, and I am here right now with the one and only, it's Christina Grimmie. How's it going today? Not bad. Not bad? Yeah. Hanging in Orlando, have you been enjoying the city? Have you been able to take a look around or anything? No, not, not really. I mean, we're here for literally today, and that's it, unfortunately. Yeah. Because, you know, tour, you know, you got to keep, you know keep going, of course. Yeah. But. Well, at least you're hustling, doing something you love, right? Of course. Yeah. You're yeah. enjoying the tour? How's everybody been treating you? Uh, the tour is the bomb. Um, yeah. And everyone is awesome. Like, it, it couldn't have been a more awesome tour. Good. The people on it are great. Oh, that's awesome. Um, and every night's just been getting better and better. Yeah, it seems like it's good vibes between everybody. I mean, you've all been through the same thing. You were all on The Voice, which yeah. is something not a lot of people experience, so you could easily relate on that, I'm sure. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. Uh, and now that all that pressure is kind of off, True. we're just having fun now. Exactly. So... Um, yeah, you know what? It's a lot more of a fun environment. Mm -hmm. The voice was honestly, 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 one of the best things I've ever done. Like, mm -hmm. hands down, most fun yet most stressful thing I've ever done. Yeah. Uh, but the tour now is kind of like almost kick back and relax, Good. sort of, because we get to do what we love every single night, which is a blessing from the Lord. So. Mm -hmm. All good. Yeah, and it definitely helps you don't have the judges just staring you in the face. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, could help me. that does help a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> well, we are going to do a few quick finish a sentence for you. So you ready to go? This is like the lightning round, I suppose. Yeah. So now, your go-to dance move is? Um, <laughs> does, does my dance count? <laughs> what, what's your dance? I don't know. It's technically not a dance. It's actually making fun of the fact that I can't dance. It's called oh. the Grimmy Dance. And basically, it's not a dance. You just go like this. Oh and I've gosh. literally seen people in the audience of these shows doing that. That's no joke. There's a, a, two people in the front row going like this. And I lost my mind. I was like, oh. you are awesome. You are awesome. That seems so. like a hazard, though. Like, what if there's somebody really close next to you? Just slap him in the face. Yeah, well, I guess. You just have to be uh, very careful with that one. <laughs> no, it's a great dance move, though. I'm going to start doing that. Maybe the show tonight, like, you'll see me in the audience just going like this. Yeah, it's going to be great. You should. <laughs> and everyone else should, too, if you're coming to any of the shows. Hint, hint. <laughs> and now, you were the most starstruck when you met. Um, you know what? I, I don't... This sounds horrible. I don't remember a whole lot of the people that I've met before. And I, I've been starstruck, but not like to the point where I'm like, oh, it's more just like, wow, oh my gosh, hi. But um, I have to say, when I met my idol, Stacy Rico, mm. that's probably when I was the most um, starstruck, for sure. So if Adam Levine is watching this, he's going to be a little bit offended, isn't he? <laughs> no, because uh, Adam, Adam's like... He's my bud bud. You Aww. know, he's like my buddy. I yeah. love him so much. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Yeah. And now the craziest rumor you've read about yourself is? Uh, the, probably that I was dead. I remember that was going was a around a while ago. And I mean, no, a while ago isn't it like probably two years ago. People mm. were like, it was all over my Facebook and my Twitter and everyone, everyone was like, Christina Grimmie's dead? Oh my gosh, blah, blah, blah. And apparently it like developed from like some forum thing. That's and crazy. like, I was like, I had to get on there and be like, nope, not dead. She's like, hey guys, I'm back. <laughs> no. I'm back from the grave. No big thing. <laughs> yeah, no worries. That's crazy though. Like I could not imagine a rumor like that starting. I'd freak out. Yeah. And now last one, your favorite snack on tour is? A Snickers. Ooh. I love Snickers. I. I don't know. I, I'm a chocolate addict anyway. Who so. isn't, though? That's the thing. Well, people that don't <laughs> like chocolate, and that's really a shame. Actually, good but, <laughs> but no, I, I, chocolate in general, but mm -hmm. Snickers seems to be the one thing that I'm, I'm never really tired of because I love it so much. So now we need to shout out to the fans to just bring her loads of Snickers on tour. Like, can we yeah. just give you boxes yeah. and boxes? Yeah. What would you even do with that? You could build, like, your own house out of it. Snickers. I could build a house and then slowly demolish it by <laughs> eating it. <laughs> 
And now we got to go back in time a little bit. You were talking a little about your YouTube channel, which was really the start of your career before The Voice. I mean, you've got two million subscribers on there, more than that. And you've had a lot of experience in the music industry even before going on the show, which is a little different than some of the other contestants. Um, but now, having gone on the show and experienced a t whole other side of the music industry, how did that change your perspective of being an artist? Um, I mean, I've just learned a lot. I'm a lot mm -hmm. smarter, I think. And I'm not saying I know everything, because I certainly don't. But, you know, Adam has certainly given me tips. I've seen how things work uh, a little bit more than I would have mm -hmm. had I not gone on the show. And, um, you know what? It's just, it, it doesn't change my decision on, on things. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, my moral values are all in place, of course. But I just see how... You know, I see how the inside works a little bit mm -hmm. more, and it's interesting, you know? And The Voice kind of set me up to, to give me a bigger platform to develop myself, so I'm certainly exactly. developing myself as an artist even more so now than I've ever been, uh, because now I have the avenue to do that, which is cool. Yeah. So, um, so, yeah, I've just I've learned a lot, you know? Yeah, I guess it could be totally different being a YouTuber because you're all on your own. Mm -hmm. So now suddenly having so many people to work with, including Adam Levine, what was the number one lesson you learned on the show? Hmm. Um, <laughs> there's, I mean, there's a couple, but I mean, for being on that show, it's just such a different environment um, through music in general. Yeah. It's just not your run-of-the-mill music situation I that guess if you put it so yeah. um, you just I think staying healthy to be honest is one of the biggest things and you could say that for a tour too because you have to yeah. make sure your voice is in shape but um, you know there's ways to get around it on tour you know like if your voice starts to break down on you or something like that then you know there is ways to kind of get around that if you're on the voice <laughs> You know, it's go, go, go. You have an, three interviews a day, and then you have to go to wardrobe and pick out all these outfits for two hours, and then you have to go to hair and makeup, and then you have to go perform or work with your coach, and it's just mm -hmm. like one thing after the other every single day. You don't have a break, and you have to use your voice every day. So, I don't know. There's just a lot of things that are very different from being on The Voice and then being off The Voice. Yeah. And, I mean, like you're saying, on The Voice, you were practically working 24-7. And then even off the show, you had a very short break, and then you came onto this tour where you are currently doing press, like we are right now, performances, sound check, et cetera. Um, so through all of the stress that can come with being an artist, what keeps you motivated? The fact that I like it so much. <laughs> and I am, True. by like it, I mean music, you know. Um, I don't really... You have to remind yourself why you do what you do, mm -hmm. and um, last night, for example, um, I had um, a couple fans of mine, well, this one fan of mine gave me a, like, a little gift bag, you know, mm -hmm. with like letters in it from people, um, and, and it's funny because I recognized her from Twitter and stuff, oh, wow. so uh, like I'm very familiar with these people, <laughs> and it's just like I was just reading some of these letters, and it just reaffirms a lot about yeah. you know why why I sing other than the fact that I love to sing and I love to write music and all that stuff but it's like I like to inspire people I love to inspire people and when I read these things about how I have inspired these people to sing or do what they love or even stay alive you know things like that like you know <laughs> by all means um, I, that's that's why I like to do what I do, despite the barely sleeping half the time. I did jump right on this tour right after The Voice. True. So it was literally like I didn't even get to breathe because I went home and did a bunch of press and then, you know, came right on tour. But I love music. I'm terrible at everything else, so. <laughs> so I'm in the right business. Hey, I think you're pretty good at video games from what I've heard, though. <laughs> you know Zelda what? X Love. I... <laughs> I love video games very much, yeah. and I, I am good at, at a few. <laughs> I mean, but yeah. there. I seriously, if I couldn't sing or if I couldn't, if I wasn't musical, I think I would. I know I would be in the video game industry somehow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think you could still do that. Maybe like a gaming channel once in a while or something. Oh, it's, it's definitely, it's definitely like a side project of my music Coming career. Soon. You know, like <laughs> it's, and everyone knows that too. You know, everyone's yeah. just like, you know, she likes video games and. You know, that's cool. I want something um, to be relatable about me, and yeah. that just happens to be 
a huge part of my life. So <laughs> exactly. And now going back to the voice, now that we just got super off topic, super off. Topic. It's okay though. Um, what was the number one thing that surprised you the most, and the number one thing that changed the most throughout the experience for you? Hmm. Um, surprised me. Staying on the show that long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's probably the number one thing. Um, and I also just was really baffled at just, I don't know if baffled is really the right word, but by how much Adam really trusted me and, mm -hmm. and respected me as an artist, you know? Um, and you know, I've, I've, I've watched the show before. I've seen him work with other artists and he is a very passionate coach, but you know, I was like, why me? You know, Aww. like why is he that way about me? And it was just a really cool experience being able mm -hmm. to work with him. I actually, I read online that Adam had said that no matter where you make it onto the show that he would sign you to his label afterwards. Is that true? Um, it is true, but it's not something that I can really go into right now mm -hmm. um, because contractually I'm with the right. boys, so I kind of have to do, I have to go with whatever label they have for me. Okay. Um, but Adam's kind of like, basically what he's saying is if all else fails with them guys, I've got your back. So That's amazing. So I have. He's my buddy. I yes. love him. Bud, bud, as you said I earlier. <laughs> I seriously call him that. Oh my gosh, he um, must love that then. <laughs> bud, bud. And now, before the voice, you were releasing your own original music. The latest was with love, which you released last year. Mm -hmm. um, are there plans to release original music in the future? Is that something you're working on or thinking about? Yeah, I am actually. I'm actually recording <laughs> my potential single tomorrow wow so um good timing to ask this then <laughs> yeah yeah no i'm i'm actually doing this thing with um pledge music i don't know if you've heard of it but um it didn't actually technically start yet but it's going to in the next couple of days mm -hmm. and i'm kind of launching like a pre-order for my single and my album both of them wow. um and more so the single because I'm on tour, so I can't really do anything with an album yet, <laughs> but I will. So hopefully by the end of this year, I'll have um, some, like, you know, hopefully an album out by yeah. that time. And so I have a lot of good things coming your way for sure. That's good. Very exciting. So you seem to be on a little bit of a mission to get this album out soon. So are you writing already? Is that like, are you in the process of that right now? Um, I mean, it is very hard to write on tour unless you're just by yourself, which um, I've had not much time to do at all um uh, but yes yeah i have here been and there here and there when i can i actually i think of all my ideas at like when i'm falling asleep at 12 or 1. Oh, don't <laughs> we don't all all the best ideas when you're I trying to sleep my, i keep my ipod like right on the bunk like in this little shelf thing like next to the bunk mm -hmm. my phone's at the other end so i'm just like if i think of anything i just grab my ipod and write stuff down yeah so that's what i've kind of been doing yeah so I keep asking you questions about the music but I'm just so excited about it that I got to but how do you want it to compare to previous releases like previous work because now a lot has changed since the voice so right. what are you thinking is going to be different about this um, um you know what I love music you know I just I write the music people can put labels on it all they want oh this mm -hmm. is pop oh this is rock oh this yeah. is blah 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 and uh you know I am a pop singer for sure, but I I like to toy with so many different elements of music, and I love the R and B. I love EDM, yes. and I so I kind of want to like just have fun with that and see what happens because I'm I'm an artist, you know. I'm not like oh I just want to do this style or I just want to do this, which is the problem with a lot of people today is they're like too confused and that used to be me but now I've narrowed myself down a lot and I think you know I love electronics so I want to kind of you know do that and dig into that more than I've done before because I haven't really a lot and I also you know it's kind of like the singing it really it's kind of like titanium maybe a little okay. bit if I could compare it to anything which I would mm. hate to do well I love that but, song so but <laughs> well yeah I mean I'd no promises, but <laughs> that's kind of what I, I'm into right now. Yes. So. And what's the future looking like for your YouTube channel? Is that something you're going to continue pursuing, or what's, what's going to be up with that? Um, well, the good thing about a YouTube channel is you can do whatever you want with it, you know? Mm -hmm. And I'm not abandoning the channel, of course. Yeah. Like, that's where I started. 
Um, and I haven't been posting as much covers because, I mean, I've been on The Voice and of course. I've been doing things. So I'm, I feel like I would be reverting back to the old days a little too much. Mm -hmm. And while I want to keep, you know, this, the same, I know it's sentimental and everything. And, you know, you go back and watch all those old videos <laughs> yes. and it's great, you know, but I, I don't really want to just go back to just doing that because, you know, I've just... I want to keep putting out my original stuff because yeah. that's what I love. And of course I'm going to, you know, still post maybe a couple little, um, you know, covers in, here and there for everyone because I want them to know that I still, you know, I still love them and I still remember them. But um, I just hope that they support my original music as much as they support the covers. Yeah. It's good to hear, though, that you're moving forward. You know what I mean? You, yeah. You're not wanting to backtrack to where you were. You know, you're progressing yeah. now with the voice and everything that's happened this year. Yeah. yeah, and we got a fan question here from Josh asking your favorite hard rock or metal bands. I guess this is Rock Forever magazine, so it's appropriate. <laughs> yeah, well, um, rock music was actually some of my favorite music growing up. So I think Metallica was one of my all-time favorites. Mm -hmm. And uh, Led Zeppelin, because Robert Plant is one of my favorite singers. Yes. Yeah. So. Good choices there. Yeah. <laughs> and what are your plans for right after this tour? I know you're starting to work on the new music, but is there anything else you want to share with people that's coming up? Um, hmm. Other than tour, if you didn't get tickets for tour, you got to see the show. It's incredible. It's really cool. So um, definitely, definitely look into tickets for that. And pledge music, like I said. Um, I'm promoting my, my single coming out maybe in a month or two. Yeah. So... Definitely jump on, on that one, and uh, yeah, that's it. All right, well, thank you so much for hanging out. This has been awesome. Everybody watching, make sure you check out Christina Grimmie's music if you haven't already. New music on the way soon, and also subscribe to our channel for more interviews, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.